Nothing. All right, boys and girls, today the project is going to be in the garage, which we're going to install these Barina LED T5 integrated fixtures that I got off Amazon because it looks all right on the screen, but this garage lighting in here is garbage. Let's open this box up. Let's see what we got in here. So here we have everything that comes in the box. I ordered um, the eight lights, four feet each light. I will say this, is that this feels very cheap. I mean, it was only what, I think $60 for all eight of these, but this feels cheap. This feels like if you drop it, it is going to break. This aluminum, I don't even know if this is a metal, to be honest with you. No, this is not metal. This is all plastic. This is plastic. This aluminum looking stuff is plastic. The lens is plastic. I mean, this is light. It feels very, very cheap. Very cheap. Um, and looking at these clips, this is not gonna be something that you want to install or remove. So this would be a install it one time and leave it there um, type of install in my personal opinion. So figure out a game plan of where you want it to be, put it up there and leave it because this feels very, very, very cheap. So let's wire these up. Make sure you bad boys work and we're gonna, we gonna go from there. So, there we go. These things are bright. So now that we have confirmed that they all work. Let me help y'all out for a second. Oh, Jesus. All right. So now that has been confirmed that they all work in the configuration of one power in and then just to be daisy linked through all out. I'm cool with it. So let's go over what's in this kit. So in this kit, we have a little, I guess it's like a little block off plate. Then this will just go right in there. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is are the exact same size as these. So they're not extension. It comes with two screws. Um, so I wouldn't like go ugga dugga on these bad boys right here. And then you have the brackets, which they should just, oh yeah, they should just snap in. These are so light, I'm gonna put these straight into the drywall. If I can't find a stud, I'm not gonna worry about it because the lights are light. I do wanna find the best matchup because I got a feeling that one, one solid uh, nick or one solid little ugga dugga and these soft bad boys are gonna round off. All right, put y'all where y'all can see a little bit. So right now, just trying to figure out a game plan on the floor of what they're gonna sit like.
I think I got it figured out what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have two lights on both sides. So it'll be two lights on the right side of the garage. It's gonna be two lights at the door. There's gonna be two lights on the left. I'm gonna have maybe one light up top and then have one light in the middle. Uh, hold on. Me and these dirty camera lenses. Oh, that's much better. And then have one light like right there somewhere. But I'm glad I got the, the eight kit and not the six kit. So I guess now I just need to figure out positions, mount those metal brackets up and get it kicking. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna do one. I think I'm just gonna do this one right here. I bump it. Well, uh, eh. Will I need to? I don't know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> do I really want one in the middle? I'm gonna do two. So, make it uniform and keep it moving. I don't know how well this is gonna turn out as far as video goes. Cause I got y'all pointed straight up at the ceiling. Alright, one down, seven, where you at, seven to go. Y'all can see it, but this bad boy right here is stripped, so these are very, very soft, so be careful.
Yo, I know y'all can't see nothing. But good gracious, this looks like a hospital room in here. Like, this is crazy bright. Like, I don't think y'all understand how bright this is. This is with the regular garage lighting, and I don't know if this phone is, is compensating. This is like crazy bright. Good gracious. So now, good lord. So now I'm going to um, get these wires looking halfway decent. I'm probably going to do them how I did this one. They're going to take a, a zip tie because the zip tie is the man's best friend. And probably just going to zip tie them all up and make it look nice. I don't know what I'm going to do, where the switch is going to be placed. But I'll figure it out soon enough. Where that switch is gonna be is not a, it's not a, it's not a real big deal. And for now, I think that pretty much concludes our installment. So I went with, whoop, about to break one. So I went with two. Oh my finger, where's my finger? I went with two four foots on the bottom, two four foots at the top, one. Where's my finger? One four foot. On that side, and one four foot on this side. So I still have two. One, two, four foot tubes left. Uh, so where they're gonna go, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll stick them up here in the middle somewhere. I don't know. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them. Uh, but I mean, I, I really don't need them. Um, maybe I'll put one under that shelf for shelf lighting, maybe. And maybe one under that shelf. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. But I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think I need them up here because these are crazy bright, just all by themselves. I mean, this is this is a significant difference. Ease or difficulty of installation, I'll give this like a three or four. I really feel like anybody could do this. If you got a stool or a ladder and a Phillips head screwdriver, you can install it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be dead serious with you. You can install it. So I give, like, at a scale of one to 10, a three. I'm, I'm happy with the six, I think it was $60. I put the link in the bottom. I'm not affiliated. I don't get no money from it. I don't get no nothing from it. But I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Um, and man, like, I'm I'm happy with this. this. This is gonna make working in the garage when it's dark outside a whole lot easier, so. I dig it, and thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a good one. Peace. Yo, I know y'all can't see nothing.